Hey guys, this is Robert here. Welcome to another episode of Slow Life Trading. How you guys doing? Hey, uh, you know, I promised you guys that I would show you our apartment after we moved out. Well, that time has finally come. My wife has, uh, she called the movers. They packed up everything, moved it all out, and my wife forgot two things. She forgot to tell him to uh, bring my brother-in-law's bicycle and she forgot to tell him to bring the bookshelf. So we're gonna have to get someone else to bring the bookshelf. And I'm back over here a little after midnight to ride the bike over to our house. Wanted to do it when it was a little cooler. But anyway, let's get, get to me showing you this video. Uh, here we go, coming in the front door. All right, coming into the front door see right here this is the dining room got AC in the living room you walk in here by the way that's the chef you walk in here and you see the uh, the living room right there when we first moved here there was a love seat over there by the curtains but we moved it into my brother-in-law's room because we bought our own sofa and had it in here and then the lady also promised us a uh, a new TV that she got for us. The other one would only turn off when you unplugged it, so she got us a new TV. And then we asked her, could we have an in ceiling fan installed? And she said, no, don't worry about it, I'll do it. So she, so she also put us in a new ceiling fan. I thought that was pretty nice of her. Uh, here's the bar. There's one of the stools. We broke one of the stools, but I took it over to a welding shop and had it re-welded. And uh, coming in through the living room, we got this little square area here where all the bedrooms meet. We got bedroom number one right there, bedroom number two. Then you see a bathroom right there. And then you turn around over here, they had a little uh, chef, glass chef with a mirror. You can put your pictures and everything. We kept all of our towels right there. And then here's uh, the bedroom that we stayed in. It had the sofa in it, a chair. Not a sofa, a chair. And as you see, it came with a, uh, full-size bed, two nightstands. Uh, in the closet, there was a sort of like a dresser here on one side, which I thought was pretty cool. And then above, above the closet, they had another little storage area. And then on this side here, they just had a place for your shoes and you just hang your clothes. Uh, there's the little dresser. Not much, but it's something, you know. It was cool. And also there was an air conditioner in here. Uh, let me walk into this master bedroom. I mean, it's not master bedroom, the bathroom. We didn't take the master because the uh, other bathroom was bigger. We had pretty good water pressure right there. But oh my God, the shower. I gotta let y'all see this water I had to live with for a whole year. Here we go. I hope you can see that. That's the way I took a shower for a year. It's kind of funny now because I sure do love the shower I'm taking now. Let me turn that off. Okay. Anyway, so much for that. But this is the bathroom. I don't know if I got it all. Had a blue toilet. We got that stain out, but I see it then came back. A uh, little nice little cabinet there. Then this was Carla's little studio. We slid the bed to the side and had her little desk and table in here. And uh, it was pretty cool too, pretty good size room, about 12 by 12. And another little closet. This one didn't have a dresser in it, just a little, uh, had a little shelf like this in it, which is pretty cool. And then the other side was just uh, hangers. Uh, she had sheets on the bed. I think we got them uh, in the dryer or something like that. Anyway, and then Eric's room. This one was the smallest room because it had a bathroom made onto it. We gave him this room because it was so small. Didn't really have a closet, they just had that. Gave him a dresser, as you can see. And a tiny, tiny, tiny bathroom. Uh, you can see there, it's small. And it's not the cleanest looking one, but it's okay. And then this is his bed. 
He had one night stand in his room. It's cool though. Three bedrooms, two baths for five twenty-five a month. I thought that was pretty awesome. This is the kitchen. She also got us a new stove because the other stove was rusty. So she brought us a new stove. It had microwave, a decent sized refrigerator. Make sure she got everything out. Yep, she got everything out. Except that. <laughs> Glad I looked. And then she got us a new wash and dryer. Stackable. So, uh, no complaints about this place, guys. It came with dishes. As you can see, not much, but we had a few dishes that we added to it. Enough for you to survive. So we made it work. Let me let you see the front door from this angle. As you can see the kitchen area there. Cool little old place. Three bedroom, two bath. Uh, she paid for the internet. She paid the water bill. We paid the gas bill and electric. And it also came with his own phone. And it was $5.25 a month. Our electric bill would be about $55 every two months. And our gas bill would be about $52 every three months. We loved it. And uh, so that's it, guys. We lived here for a year. Okay? It was a year on the 5th of, Jan of uh, June. So a little bit over a year now, but uh, and now we've moved into the to a, another rental, and hopefully we'll be there for two years, and to uh, at least our leases for two years anyway. And uh, we lived right behind Office Depot, which is part of the reason why we're moving. We had to deal with that loud door going up and down every morning, all day long, for at least five or ten times a day, and it's loud. But anyway, this is the place. It was good for us. It was a new start. It was uh, our first place here living. Uh, had good experience here. Loved it. Just time to do something better. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, get side. catch you on the other side. Peace out.